Hello Year 6, welcome to the Chosen Hill Maths Department. Allow me to introduce you to the team. First we're going to start off with Mr Herring. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. I am uh, Mr Herring. I am the Head of Maths. Now that doesn't mean that my head is just made of maths. It means that I'm in charge of all the maths that gets done at Chosen Hill School. Um, you might remember me if you came to our open evening. I would have tried to force you to take some problems home with you. You might still have that sheet. I know it was a very, very long time ago, last September. Um, if you haven't, if you look on uh, the screen in front of you, you've got uh, one of my favorite problems, Sharky, in front of you. And obviously you can pause this screen to kind of have a go at that one. I've also got this one that's here. And again, you can pause the screen to have a go at this one and this one, and finally this one. Now, obviously if you do any of these problems, you can come and give them to me and pass them to me in the first week back. Uh, we get them in September. Pass me any of these challenges with your name on it. I will mark it and then get it back to you. However, if you do this one, um, I have to be honest, I don't think anyone will do this one. I do not think it can be beaten. I think it's, uh, incredibly difficult to even understand what it is you have to do but give it a go you've got nothing else to do during lockdown so you might as well and if you've got parents that you want to play a game with you might remember this game from our open evening uh, if you do here you go here's the instructions if you've got some straws or pencils at home you can play this then okay um, I really hope to see you and get to know as many of you as possible in September. Uh, between now and then, take care, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye now. Then there's me, Miss Stairs, Assistant Head of Faculty, and I'm going to oversee your maths learning for your first two years at Chosen Hill. Then we have Mrs Rogers, always greet students with a warm and welcoming smile. Next up, we have the lovely Mr Day. Hello, my name is Mr Day. Uh, I have two jobs at the school. I'm the Senior Progress Coordinator, which means I support your year leads to look after you. But I also teach maths. So why do I like maths so much? There are many reasons, but if I had to just pick one, it would be this. In order for two people to communicate, they need some kind of common language, some way to represent things to each other that they understand. If we want to try and understand the way our universe works, or how things work in the universe, we need some kind of common language to do that. And maths is the language that we have developed in order to allow us to understand how the universe works. And who wouldn't want to understand that? We take it for granted, for example, any phone you use or anything you use to connect to the internet. The only reason we can do these things is because somebody understands all the maths, and it's because of that all these things we have in life we could enjoy. And then we have Miss Hitchens, who loves to help students out with those tricky problems and share in their yes, I did it moments. We've also got Mrs. Borkwald, who get you to think left, think right, and think low and think high. Oh, the things that you can think up if only you try. Then we have Miss Stratton. Hello Year 6, my name's Miss Stratton, I've been teaching maths at Chosen Hill for years and years, so I've probably taught some of your brothers and sisters. I love maths, especially algebra, because it helps you find out how things work. And I really believe that anyone can make progress in maths and can even enjoy it with a little bit of help. So I really enjoy trying out different ways to explain a topic and finding out which way makes my pupils understand better and helping them to get on with it. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. Next up, we have Mrs Stoneman, who's our inclusion manager. And inclusion by name, inclusion by nature. There will be no sitting on the sidelines in her maths lessons. Then we have Mr Baker, who will love to share his problem solving and puzzle passions with you. And finally, Mr Griffiths. Hello. I'm Mr Griffiths and I teach maths uh, and I will be teaching some of you maths next year I imagine when you join us in September. This is uh, just a quick thing that I've learned in my time during lockdown. Uh, I've been reading lots of different 
books, some of them maths related, some not maths related, but this is one maths thing that I have discovered. And as you can see, it's to do with multiplying. So I thought I'd share it uh, with you guys. The one on the left, uh, which is nine times five, is something that most of you would be able to do really quickly in your heads uh, anyway. But I need to show that as an example before we try the tricky one. Okay, so this is um, a way of multiplying that was discovered in India uh, many years ago, sort of uh, hundreds of years ago. And what they do is they say, well, how far away is nine from 10? Well, that's one away. And how far is five away from 10? Well, that is five away. And then if we do those two numbers times together, minus one times minus five gets us five. And then you can pick any diagonal. I'm going to pick this diagonal and do five, take away one to get four. And as those of you that already got the answer know, nine times five is 45. So this can be useful when doing multiplications with larger numbers. So instead of saying how far away from 10 is it, we say how far away from 100 is this. We've got minus 16 and we have got minus seven. And then we do the same method. So we've got to multiply these two together. That gets us 112, which I will write like that. And then we have, I'm going to pick this because it's smaller numbers. 84 take away seven is 77, but that one was carried. So our answer is 7812. You can check it with a calculator or using your normal methods of multiplying, column method, uh, grid method, whichever method you have been using uh, during your time at primary school, and that should be the correct answer. But it's something that I discovered this week uh, whilst reading a book, Alex's Adventures in Numberland, uh, which is a great book if you're looking for something maths related to read over the summer holidays. Uh, hopefully I will see some of you in September when you join us. Uh, if not, I might teach you in year eight, year nine, year 10, year 11. There's lots of times when you might come into contact with me. Uh, so I will see you soon and hope you enjoy your time off over the summer. So that's the maths team and we wish you a great summer holiday and we look forward to greeting you in September.